Okay, we appear to be live, and going to change this the uh, title of the stream okay so I have changed the title of the stream I'm gonna set up the chat now <coughs> to do is simply go to YouTube on my phone so that I can check out the stream <laughs> oh I do not want to hear my own voice here okay and live chat. All right, now I can properly see the chat when things come up. All right, so we've got some things here. What do we have here? I'm already on Greatsword, thankfully. So. Just get a few other things squared away here. Okay, and let's see, we need to control Faith Leap. We could also go and capture those supply camps there. Battlegrounds now. Oh, some invaders. Quite a bit of them, actually. I'm a little bit afraid of that. Maybe I should use uh, Winds of Disenchantment here. And maybe Break Enchantments. And just for a little more sustain, I think I'm going to go Guard Counter. Oh, the supervisor is okay, so I can actually go there and we can be all right. Oh crap, I got these, these Hylic here. I'm going to take these guys on alone. Sorry for the noise, by the way. Trains. Wow, I get, I get adrenaline so fast. Holy crap, wait a second. Hold on, I... Deadeye. Deadeye. Or, that's a mirage, actually, but there's also... 
That's a dead eye right there. Dang it. So before we got ambushed by a Deadeye and a Mirage, okay, it looks like they, okay, they're just fighting NPCs, it's an ally, but just fighting NPCs, it's a daredevil. Uh, hold on one second. I need to turn on my heating because I'm insanely cold right now. Hold on one second. Okay, I am back. Gosh, I need to get another headset. This one, the mic just falls. If this is the only way you get materials, like if you only get materials from World v. World, you can have a bad time. It's pretty bad. But I did, oh, that's a Mystic Clover. That's cool. Um, crap, what was I going to check? Oh, I was going to check reward track, I think? Yeah. Sweet. Well, I just got that, which means I'm one step closer to getting a gift of battle. If I can, if I can, if I can get gift of battle, I might want to actually get a few of them, like, a, like, five maybe? Because for legendary weapons, you need one, and for the legendary back piece, you need four, or the, the world be world legendary back piece. For the PvE, Legendary back piece, you need to do fractals and stuff, and I'm not really sure I want. Ad infinitum. The Warbringer looks awesome. Okay, we have this. We could go to Rogue's Quarry and try and capture that. an ally. Hold on. Is... Okay. Guild Wars 2 was making sound, but I had it for whatever reason, I had my speaker turned off, so hold on one second. I don't think I've muted it either, so you guys should be able to hear when things come up. Okay, Rogue Quarry. I don't think we're going to find anybody here, but you never know. We could. Yeah, it looks like some somebody from our server is already there. Yep. Very cool. Oh, 
They captured it right before I got there. Come on. Not cool. Okay, what else is left to do? This is interesting. It's like a dredge camp. I don't think I've ever tried to capture one of these things before. The Highland camp, the dredge camp, and the ogre camp. Interesting. And Storm Bluff Isle controls Stone Mist Castle. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of feel like we should. Perhaps we could go to the dredge camp. We could try and capture that. I don't know though. I kind of feel like maybe the server needs my help over here. The dragon, the dragon brand Alpine Borderlands. really would love to uh, play music during these streams. I think that would be really cool. But the problem is, I don't want the videos to get demonetized. Here we go. We capture this freaking supply camp, man. This is exciting. I keep forgetting that. Oh, oh, he's twenty-one thousand away. Okay, we're fine. We'll be fine. Uh, there is a timer. Three minutes. Oh my gosh, no. Three minutes. Alright, I mean, what can you do? Your actions are foolish. I thought I thought my full counter was not on cooldown. Uh, wait a second. That is a freaking. That's a mirage. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's at full health. Ugh. That sucks. He's he's gonna come finish. Oh, he didn't finish. Uh, he's going to. Boom. No. <laughs> Dang it, man. No, I didn't. I really didn't expect to encounter anyone there. Oversight on my part, man. Okay, we'll get him this time. Protected from capture still. We will get them this time. We're gonna kill him. Where's my hot pack? Ah, my hands are so cold. And I just wanted to make sure. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because sometimes my stream says I'm playing Crusader Kings 2 because sometimes in a stream I switch over to playing Crusader Kings 2. After I play Guild Wars 2. Where's our commander? I... Oh, our command oh, sweet. Our commander is over there. That would be kind of cool if I could go and join them. I might have to do that after I capture this point. And I will. I will capture this point. I don't care how long it takes me. If I find that mirage again. Yep. No, that's not a mirage. That's a scourge. And I'm very, very afraid of that scourge. I have to say. And there's another scourge. He saw me. He totally saw me, and I can't see it all. 
Maybe he didn't see me? They're waiting. Oh my gosh. I gotta wait for one of them to run off. I'm not taking on two scourges at one time. This feels dirty. I'm stalking two scourges. Okay, that's no longer protected from capture. Which means they're going to capture it. I mean, let's just be honest here. Which means I won't be able to capture it for a while. But, if I can just get one of them to run off... Then I can maybe take on the other one. There's a hollow smith there. He's gonna get wrecked. He did get wrecked. By is that by a scourge? I don't know. Oh no. What? Are you kidding me? Are they are they supposed to be able to do that? Are they supposed to be able to stun me twice? Come on. Don't do that. Okay, now... Yeah, still two scourges there. I'm surprised... I'm really surprised that they haven't seen me. I can't take... Are you crazy? I can't take on... I can't take on two scourges at one time. Okay. They're just running off. That is so funny. But the thing is, they didn't... They're not in the same place, though. I don't know where... I don't know where each of them went, but... They didn't... They definitely didn't go the same way. They're definitely not in, like, a party. They're just two roamers. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. Because now I won't be able to open with that. Alright, no boons allowed, buddy. Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh, how do you take on scourges? There's so many conditions. Here we go. How do you do that? Just how? How do you kill Scourges? Maybe if I had Berserker's Stance for the Resistance? But the problem is it's four seconds of Resistance. I mean... If you could have 100% boon duration, and you got the thing for longer stances, that would mean five pulses of... Two seconds of resistance, which is still only giving you ten seconds of resistance. You would also then have to... Well, let me see. If you had double boon duration, that might be actually really good. I, got, I, I keep having to remember, I and I keep having to remind myself that you don't need... Hold on. I gotta, there's the supervisor. He still has a timer for a minute. You don't need Ascended Armor in World View World. You can do perfectly fine with Exotic Armor. I'm still only at Tier 1 participation. I'm not even going to get any pips. Okay. He's still got some of that. Is that... That's a roamer. And it's a scourge. And I kind of feel like it's the same one we encountered before. But wait. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Give me some of this. No boons allowed. 
Yes, yes, yes. Now I can take on a scourge. Yes. Finally, I can kill a scourge. Train is so loud. Apologies for the noise. Actually, I think I could close one of these windows. Hold on one second. Okay, obviously there's no use of me being here, but I do want to go and capture some ruins. Actually, you know what? I Squad requires an invite to join. Crap. I can still follow the commander, I mean. Nothing preventing me from following the commander. Sunrise, or is that Eternity? Actually, that's neither. It's the Royal Ascalonian Greatsword. Alright, actually, I don't know if that's the Royal Ascalonian Greatsword. I don't remember th what the name of the skin is for Ascalonian Catacombs, but it's fine. A scrapper, huh? And what kind of weapons is he wielding? I feel like you're supposed to wield a hammer if you use scrapper. I don't know anything about engineer though. Is that a scourge? Oh sweet. We've got a scourge on our side. Trigger my full counter. Oh, and I'm at uh, tier 3 participation, which means I'm going to get some pips. I will get pips. I will get 9. Wow. Alright. I'm alright with that. Kind of wondering if Sejin is going to join us tonight. Sejin has been on a lot of the recent streams. Almost all of them, actually. Wow, I'm the only one in my guild that's online. Wait, where did the... Okay, the commander also. Sweet, nine pips. And let's check the reward track. Okay, it's not a whole lot. You kind of have to really, really keep working at it. But the pips, that's something that I really like. And 
those skirmish claim tickets are especially useful. And after I get through silver, then I'll be working on gold, which is going to earn me, you know, some more. Skirmish chests, yes. And skirmish claim tickets. Holy, wait. What's going on? Oh, crap. They j Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am not getting involved, but somebody saw me. Yeah, I... No. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. I can't take those guys on by myself. I wish I could. Oh, screw off. Screw off, guy. Also, okay, getting too close. Okay. Wait, but is that a single guy? Because if that's a single person, then of course I can take him, but... It's a mirage. I'm a little bit afraid of mirages. Mirages and scourges. Am I just a coward? Is that what it is? Am I just a wimp? What what the frick kind of skills am I using him in world versus world underwater? I don't think this has been updated since I started playing the game at launch. Oh, that's a scourge. Okay, new boons allowed. Get rid of your boons, buddy. Steady your mind. Also, I'm going to die. It's impossible to win against a scourge. You just can't. You just freaking can't. I just don't understand how people win against scourges. <laughs> Ah, uh, they've got too many conditions. How do you do that? How do you even do that? It is possible you're pretty bad. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been doing World vs. World for all that long. I just enjoy it, so... And the build that I'm using, I'm not even sure if it's the best build. I need progress, but... Thanks for that. Don't fight a Scourge close to his shades. Okay, good to good to know. I try... I actually... Let me see. He will deal two times the damage. Okay. Also good to know. I tried to learn... Try and make him use all of his shades. Okay. I tried to learn playing Scourge. Um, dodge a lot, run, and block. Alright. Well, I don't have any blocks, because I'm, I'm running t double daggers and greatsword. And I don't think any of the warrior skills allow block, but... Or any of the utility skills allow block, but... But I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Axe and shield for Spellbreaker? I don't know. I've seen a lot of good... Mason shield probably makes more sense for a Spellbreaker. It has a block, and it also has a... It has two hard CCs on it. Actually, three, because of the Adrenal skill. I don't know. We'll see. I have had a lot of luck with dual daggers, honestly. But should I? Let's see. Oh, I would also have to get new sigils, too. Maybe not. I mean, this is a pretty good sigil. Sigil of, uh, draining. Why don't we try it? The sigil of momentum probably is not the best. 
And it's also soldier... And also this is soldier's gear. I'm going to buy... Hold on. I have a Berserker's Mace, actually. Yes, I do. But... The Superior Sigil of Cruelty, probably not something I want. What can I do in that case? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at the different kinds of sigils I can get. And I'm gonna get some some stat appropriate gear and, and try and run mace and shield as a, as a secondary stat. Which would allow because I do like shield. I like running shield. And that would give me a good excuse to run Shield Master, obviously, because Shield Master is a really good trait. Um, this is the trading post. All right, so are they? What is this? They have. This is a Korean guild. What is daily? Prekter raid. Tequatre. Samdu. Ah, Samduom. Yeah, the triple trouble. Some do warm. Ship sashi on pop. Lul play. Che de rebel. Kill the hole. Wait, what is che de rebel? Le bell. Oh, max level guild hall. Lotto. North America. OCX. SEA. EU, oh, Oce Oceania, SEA, Southeast Asia, European, Time Zone, BG Sopo, Join Hera, <laughs> Mail or Quit, oh my gosh. Okay, weapons. What are we doing here? Get out of my face, you delivery box. Maces. Now, if I can get some Berserker Mace, Power Precision, Ferocity. I already have a Shiver Stone and all that, you know, but... If I could get just a cheap Berserker's Mace, this is actually an Assassin's Mace. Defense 112. Okay, already running that. Discipline 223. I'm already running that. Spellbreaker, you're probably going to say 111. A lot of people say that anyway. Three one three. Why would you not use Enchantment Collapse? Why would you use Mage Bane Tether? I mean, I suppose, I suppose if you're not running in a Zerg, I suppose Enchantment Collapse. One, one, one. Okay, good. Yeah, I I was running one, one, one. I I decided to switch to two, one, one. Because the protection I feel like kind of helps. I mean, it doesn't really protect against Scourge because Scourge do conditions which ignore protection. Uh, let's see. Power precision ferocity. Um, it doesn't really matter what sigil is already on there because I can just take it off. So it, so really, it would just benefit me to get the cheapest one. That's assassins. When you have shield protection, is not as good because you have two block skills. Well, mace shield, you have two block skills. Shield bash is not a block. But yeah, that's true. Well, no, this is... This is assassins. I kind of just want berserkers. Also, wait. this Oh, this is a level 70 exotic. I don't want level 70 exotic. Are you freaking kidding me? This is a level 62 exotic. Are you kidding me? 
Hold on, I gotta switch to match my level. Okay, how about just 80? 80 to 80? Berserker's Pearl Bludgeoner. Do you see this? It's over double the gold. Just to get the right stat set. Sigil of Blood. 50% chance of critical to steal health. But I would not get that. Shiver Stone is... Oh, I forgot that the default uh, stat set for Shiver Stone is Celestial. I forgot about that. Serpent Stone... That can work. It's only a gold. Alright, so I'll get that, and then I need a shield. I need a berserker shield. Assassin shield, but I don't need the assassin shield. Rivet wall. Now that's assassins. Cryptos Embrace, that's Berserkers, and it's only over a gold. A little over a gold. Cryptos Embrace. Okay, so I'm going to take those, and now I've got to look at some sigils. So what kind of sigils do I want? Um, so let's check out the Guild Wars 2 wiki. I also use Marauder gear, my warrior, but that's personal preference. I'm using a mix of Marauders and Assassins. I mean, for my armor and accessories. By the way, Warrior is the only class I play, so... Forgive me if I don't know a lot about how other classes play, because... I don't play any of them. I try, Like I said, I try to learn Scourge. It's kind of difficult to uh, wrap my mind around all the things. Sigil of Force and Sigil of Energy. Okay. I'm just taking a look at these sigil real quick. Sigil of Force I know is plus 5% damage. Sigil of Energy I do have on my greatsword, and it's quite a good one. Because it would allow you to block a lot. I mean, not block, dodge. Let's see, upgrade components. Weapon sigils. And... Not the... I don't know, 60? Is that what it is? Yep. Sigil of... I'm curious about these other ones. Oh, that's so bad. These are, uh, some of these sigils are just so bad. Like, why would you even use them? I like Sigil of Accuracy, to be honest. Because the thing is, I've got really high ferocity. So, you know. Okay, let's go with, I think... I think you're right. I am going to have to use the Sigil of Force. And the Sigil of Energy. Oh, it's so expensive. So expensive for a Sigil. Alright. But I did get one. The Sigil of Force is even more expensive. <laughs> but if they're expensive, that means that they're pretty good. So... Usually that's what it means. Sometimes it just means it's rare. Like the ghastly grinning shield. Yeah, freaking soul bind it. I do like that shield skin. Alright, where is my mace here? Where's the other mace? Here it is. And let's at least give it... Prefer Berserker for solo, ro solo roaming? Yeah. Berserkers works well. And the Dragon's Jade Cudgel. Yes, I love that skin. And as for the shield, I could use the Fractal Shield. I really do like the Fractal Shield. Um, 
I do also like the Gate of Goodbyes, but I'm using that on my Dolyak Spellbreaker. Headbutt is a pretty sweet stun. Oh, Berserker, you mean the 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 uh, spec. Um, I mean, I've got nothing against Berserkers. Um, I, I have a few Berserkers builds, but generally I prefer Spellbreaker. I think I'm going to use the Fractal Shield. Okay, and then that's what I've got here. And now I have to apply the sigils. So let me just take a look at this here. Okay, sigil of force. And sigil of energy. Cool. I don't care about those others, uh, those other sigils that I just lost. Okay, so now I've got the mace shield in addition to dual daggers, and that's probably a really good combination because um, I really, I honestly love playing Spellbreaker with dual daggers, but I recognize that also it's really good to have blocks. So I could take my Dolyak Spellbreaker. I mean, there's always that. I just don't know what, how useful it would be for World v. World. I have a Dolyak Spellbreaker build where I just go just complete full tank, full defense, and I've got... Um, it uses the natural sustain of the Spellbreaker, and it, like, augments it just into heaven. Just I've got complete soldier's gear, which is power, toughness, vitality. And then I've got, like, this food that makes me regenerate health. And I've got runes of the Dolyak, which give you toughness, vitality. And then the final one is just where you regenerate health. Full defense warrior builds are fun to play. Yeah, yeah, I have tons of hit points. I have, um, I think I'm up to almost 33,000. I think, um, if I went Sentinel, I probably could get 35,000. But I, it's soldiers, so. Which, looking back, I probably should have gone Sentinel, but I've got a full set of Ascended soldiers now, so. Including the accessories and rings and amulet. And back piece. It would be really great to get the legendary back piece. That way it wouldn't be so hard to get them. An old vanilla warrior with 35,500 hit points. Hammer and sword and warhorn. Perma swiftness. Six seconds of immortality. That's awesome. I think core warrior builds can be really cool. I have a, I have a few of those as well. I have something which is not often played. I have um, I have a rifle warrior build that actually focuses on rifle, and it's I call it my super shot warrior build because it just it just focuses on absolute maximum ferocity. Also, I'm okay. I thought that was a dead eye mark. Focuses on absolute maximum ferocity, and then you get I think you get from arms, I believe, you get a guarantee, you get guaranteed crits on your burst skills. I'm pretty sure it's arms. And so, like, you get just completely max out your ferocity, and then you get a guaranteed crit with an already pretty powerful skill of um, kill shot. I feel like Warrior is the, <coughs> and I don't, I, I can't exactly speak for every class because, of course, I only play Warrior, but I feel like Warrior is the class that, out of all of them, has the most viability in the game as just the core class and not... And not an elite spec, uh, an elite specialization. Okay. 
Wow, the wolves. The wolves are quite feisty. Probably going to go to Hero's Lodge after I capture this realm, or after I capture this ruin. <coughs> Alright, event succeeded. It says ruins held one? Oh, maybe the other ones aren't completely captured. I don't realize my guildie said hello. can't see the uh... oh there's a dragon hunter all right let's go for them then guardians have low vitality so and they're already attacking NPCs look at this oh come on are you kidding me no come on fight me is it because I'm a spellbreaker? Is that it? Don't worry, I'm not a good one. They chickened out. But the cool thing about playing spellbreaker is that when I see another spellbreaker, I don't feel afraid because my builds my build doesn't rely on boons and so I don't care if the spellbreaker like if if a spellbreaker casts uh, winds of disenchantment, I really don't care. I just stand inside it cuz I don't worry about boons. Okay, I I don't like this timer. Play Scourge, everyone fears me. Yeah, I fear Scourges. But I appreciate your tips on how to kill Scourges. Because I... Basically, my strategy is Bull's Charge into Wastrel's Ruin. And as soon as I do that, I mean, I just kind of go ham bone. And if that doesn't work... I mean, of course, I know what my skills do, so I'm trying to counter, but... I try to counter stuff, but... Oh, crap, what... Oh, no. Guild Wars 2. Okay. Guild Wars 2, like, minimized, and it wouldn't come back up again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is this that same Dragon Hunter? Oh, crap. Oh, they pulled me in. I'm dead. That was that was very poorly played. I think what happened in the case of scourges, once they waste the shades or life force, they're defenseless. Yeah. That sucks, man. I really gotta keep practicing. I really gotta keep practicing. I'm growing. I'm enjoying myself at least. At least I'm having fun. Oh, I'm really close to this as well. And they own that. If maybe I could just go capture Faith Leap. I know from, from playing a little bit of Necromancer before I learned Scourge, I know that uh, naturally Necromancers are kind of tanky just because of their shroud form. But I know that when you go Scourge, you lose the urge. No, I'm just kidding. When you go Scourge, you kind of sacrifice that tankiness. 
that necromancers have inherently. So I'm just it, it's just really hard for me to get used to having like multiple profession mechanics like I mean full counter like that's that's enough for me. That's like where I've got Warrior is just so easy to play. Like It's just warriors are just like you've got your your weapon skills and then your F1 is a super attack. And then if you're spellbreaker then you've just got, you know, full counter which is just block and attack. And then if you're a berserker then F2 is where you uh Oh sweet, I'm on tier 3 participation now. Then F2 is where you get to m use more super attacks, so... I just, I like that. And I liked playing Warrior in uh, Guild Wars 1 as well. But I really wish Warriors had more of the skills in Guild Wars 2 that they had in Guild Wars 1. That would be really cool. I do like those I do like those blocks. Whoa, what is going on here? Hold on. What just happened? I know he is invulnerable. I thought an actual player showed up. I think it's just a supervisor. Well, um, what is that third utility skill I can use? Maybe shake it off. I think I'm gonna use shake it off. It's another stun break. And I, I think I might want to, like, really try my Doliac Spellbreaker build. I'm so bad. How come I can't? Okay, usually I can capture these supply camps no problem. Like, absolutely no problem. Maybe it's just... I just can't play tonight. Seriously, if you watch my other streams, usually I have absolutely no issue with it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to switch to my Doliac Spellbreaker. I, I've never tried playing it in World v. World, but I'm going to try it. And who knows how it's even going to turn out, because that thing does, like, no damage, but... I know you'll face from my dream. Yes, I want to see it. All right, well, then I will. I'll do it. Full Soldier's Gear... And we've got soldiers here. Oh, there's that and that and yep, that and the golden relic of Rin. And hold on, what else do I need to do? I'm not using dual daggers. I use. Mace and shield. Also, yes, I got the final silver chest. Okay, where is my other mace? Uh, here it is. Sigil of draining, where I steal health when I interrupt an enemy, and it, and the and it's really good because it's like 
a thousand health or something like that. It's really good. And then um, I've got a sigil of momentum to where I gain more toughness for every enemy that I kill. Then I run defense one one three. Sometimes I run I sometimes I run one three three. I might do that. And sometimes you can actually run run one two three because you do have a lot of toughness. So you can use that to buff your power. Um, and then, do I run discipline? No, I run strength. That's right. So I run strength. I run brave stride. That's really like the other ones don't really work with the spellbreaker or with this build. So um, great fortitude and might makes right. And then with spellbreaker, I run. Guard counter. I usually run slow counter, but since I'm in PvP, I'm removing more boons, so I can run this. And then, of course, Mage Bane Tether. Because basically the idea is that when you when you use a burst skill, you get a ton of might, and it helps you get even more passive healing. The whole idea of the build is just to get tons and tons of passive healing, and so many blocks and everything, and you just never die. Um, then, let me see. I've got uh, Doliax Signet. And sometimes I run Shake It Off, sometimes I run Endure Pain. Um, it's usually just good to get um, lots of stun breaks. And I can also run Winds of Disenchantment. The Elite's kind of flexible, actually. When I'm in regular PvE, just open world or whatever, I'll run Signet of Rage. If I'm in Fractals, because I have run Tier 4 Fractals with this one, I run Battle Standard for the AoE Revive. But if I'm in PvP, Winds of Disenchantment makes sense. So. Um, okay, so I've got all that. And then I've got, for food, I've got Tropical Peppermint Cakes. But I will... I will say, first I'm going to open this stuff. So, <laughs> Glacial Lodestones. i got two Greenwood Logs. Two skirmish chests, and of course, I need the testimonies of heroics. And how many of those do I actually have now? 80? That's skirmish claim tickets. I have 57. Not bad. Alright. So, let's go out here. Uh, what's the other... Oh, I'm using May Shield, May Shield. Hold on. Um... The other one I usually use, other weapon set, is usually hammer. Extra CC and all that. Let's see. I mean, I've never tried this in PvP, and I really don't know how well it's going to work, but we'll try. Invasion Defender. Oh, sweet. Two out of three enemy invaders killed. So if I just kill one more person, which is going to be quite hard on this build, I think. Let's also eat a Tropical Peppermint Cake. That puts me to 33,000 health. And I believe it gives you... I actually don't know how much health it is per second. It's like the most that a piece of food can give you. And then I also have these magnanimous sharpening stones where you gain power equal to 3% of your vitality and toughness. Which is useful because I have a lot of vitality and toughness. So. We'll see. I'm kind of excited. I'm excited to check it out. See how it works. I mean, at the very least, I'll be able to take on the NPCs and have lots of sustain there. At the very least, right? You know, the hope is that I can actually kill other players with it, but... Wait, I'm at... Hold on. Am I get some other kind of... Oh, yeah, look at that! <laughs> I've got another 100 toughness! Look at this toughness right now. I've got 2,600 toughness. And when I break out of a stun, I actually... Um, 
get an extra thousand for what eight seconds yes eight seconds every single time I break out of a stun I believe I have 34,000 health. This this team chat, by the way. Can you guys? No, you guys can't see. You guys can't see the team chat. It's kind of funny. Okay, here we go. Veteran scout. Yes, break out of a stun to get tons of toughness and everything. Here we go. And especially especially when I slap on a Mage Vein Tether with the uh, Skull Crack skill. Oh yeah, I have so much more sustain with this. <laughs> Reflecting those projectiles is pretty funny. Yeah, I definitely do a lot less damage. It, it's really slowing down this encounter. But, I end the encounter at half, or uh, sorry, not half. I end the encounter at full health. So, overall, you know. Somebody's got the freaking, the dreamer short bow. I can join the squad. Sweet. This is going to be something. Especially considering I can do no damage. But I can do this. Taylor. Slap it on.
Where's our yeah. In the chat it says, where's our Zerg hiding at? In your heart, that's where. Hmm. Our server's in second place, second to Stormbluff Isle. Yes, good. That's what I want. I don't have any supply though. All I can do is crack the skull of the gate. I wonder if I can maybe use like a some other skill to help me gain adrenaline. It'd be preferable if it was a stun break, but I don't think there. Are, I think the only skill that gives you a stun break and you gain adrenaline is outrage, which is a berserker skill. So you can maybe choose signet of fury, and that's not a stun break, but that will give you adrenaline. Okay, we're going in here, I guess. Shake it off! Supply. Nothing in the supply. Oh, yeah. This gate is not going out easy. I haven't even noticed this. This is a keep. I mean, this is a a major thing. Nobody's noticing this. Are you kidding me? So, oh, I didn't realize that. You could see your next reward on your reward track. pips and I got the transmutation charge excellent job seriously is it gonna be this easy champion keep lord now that might be hard is it are you kidding me? Is it just us two? Where are the other people? Come in here. Get in here.
Okay, rousing resilience. There we go. We can do this. Maze Bane Tether. Of course. Shake it off! Sweet. I need Dragonite Ore, actually. I achieve this. I'm oh. An cool. Keep captured. You know, that is the first time in a long time that I've actually completed my dailies. Because there are so many times when I do not complete my dailies because I really don't feel like it. And I even... I even see it as worth it to bypass the two gold just because I really don't feel like doing trying to get catch up to him but you know if I um, if I ever encounter somebody like running away from me then my only choice is to just use featherfoot grace and hope for the best because I don't really have any gap closer shield bash is not a very good gap closer like it goes forward a little bit but it's not that much it's kind of like running forward with a banner. It's not even worth it. It's a good skill, but it's a CC skill. It's not a gap closer. stuff done quick when uh, when we're in a group I should get with a group more often also what is that in the sky look at that it looks like an airship yeah that's totally an airship am I missing something is there supposed to be an airship My gosh, is that ever sneaky? That is so sneaky. You have to use CG for that.
Easy peasy. Japanesey. I feel like we're really getting ahead here. Oh yeah. Uh, we're not not up quite as much as Storm Bluff Isle, but. Crap, what was I gonna do? Supply capacity would be really cool, but I, wasn't I gonna do the... I feel like I was trying to do something else. Maybe guard killer, but either way I need more for that. I may have wanted to... I may have wanted to do, um, what's it called? Hold on, what is this? Gain Iron Hide while interacting with a Flame Ram. Flame Blast now applies structural vulnerability to gates. Reduce the recharge of Flame Ram skills. Skill Slam Impact launch enemies on the other side of the door? Dang. Skill Iron Will, support skill that applies Iron Hide to nearby allies. That's cool. Okay, where's the commander? Uh. Where's the commander? I don't see him. I don't see the commander, I've got to say. Oh, there he is. Oh, here's a roamer. Oh, well, alright, well, you know what? This will be my first freaking test with, um, with the Doliac Spellbreaker build. We'll see. I have no idea how well this is going to work out. Come on. Will you face me? Will you face me or will you not? I have that question for you. My son. Can't kill me, I'm a bunker. Oh crap, he can kill me. And he will. Uh, in the end, I died. In the end, I, I couldn't outlast him. Especially since his buddies joined in. I lasted a long time. I'm pretty impressed with how how long I lasted there. But in the end it wasn't enough. The train is so loud. I have 35k health now? Why? Huh. 
By the way, to the new people that have joined the stream, I'm using I'm using a special build that I call the, the Spellbreaker, or sorry, the um, the Doliac Spellbreaker, where I go full defense. I'm I haven't really tried it in PvP before, but I've I've just decided to try it today, and I've been having some luck with it. So um, it's just full soldier's gear, power, toughness, vitality, and Trading for a lot of extra toughness. And also a ton of passive healing. That's basically what the build is. The problem with it is that it just doesn't do a lot of damage. And I do take strength, so I could make the second... You know what? I think I'm going to sacrifice a few thousand health here, and then I'm actually going to take Sunrise and make it Soldier's Gear. I'm actually going to do that. Then I can at least, like... Oh, wait. Oh, no, but actually that's not even a good idea because... Because the thing is, you never get crits with this build. You just never get crits. So I'm actually going to switch back to hammer. Because it only gives you might, and you crit. Soldier's gear does not crit. Squad's leader is left. Okay, well, leave. Oh, I hate, I hate this clutter here. Oh, I just hate it so much. feel like a freaking brick wall running around. How many ruins do we hold? We only actually hold two ruins. Those are the ones I captured. Stormbluff Isle captured this. This is an invader here. Here we go. I'm going to see how this works again. Uh, what? Oh, no. Duo. Oh, that's oh, that's a ranger. Okay, it's a soul beast. Um, what? 
how am I winning against this soul beast so easily? Does he have no heal, heal skill? That, that kind of surprised me. No one was around to see that, but that really surprised me. Apparently we also don't hold any of the ruins. We don't hold any, really. Because it kind of looks like we hold 4 out of 5. I can't believe I killed that soul beast back there. That was like... They just like didn't even do any damage to me. That was <laughs> so weird. I mean, I am using my Dolyak Spellbreaker, so... I don't know. I really gotta hand it to myself. <laughs> Just kidding. I like this weapon set. I might have to change the gloves though. Oh, not dice. Wardrobe. No, I would, want, I would definitely want, like, full. Those could work. Heavy plate gauntlets. The Armageddon gauntlets also work. All the, and the funerary gauntlets? The thing is, those things stick out of the shield, like... Draconic gauntlets aren't too bad, actually. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. I mean, I I can believe that I'm doing this. I just can't really believe I'm doing this right now. I think I like the Draconic gauntlets. I think I'm going to actually switch to those. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the Illustrious Armor set. Did I have stability? It looked like he shield bashed me. Man, this ain't even no thing. Come on. You kidding me? Okay, here we go. Oh, this is a core ranger. Oh, he's running away. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He just saw me and started running away. He or she. Well, hi. Hi there. All right, come on. Come at me, bro. Honestly, I really don't care. You can hang back there. I can't... I'm not losing enough health to die. I mean... Honestly. Interrupt twice. Interrupt... Oh, no, I didn't interrupt three times. That would have been cool. They just left. 
I don't know where they- I think probably they saw I'm taking on all these guys and not losing any health. So what's the time around this? Oh, freaking three minutes. I haven't even been focusing on healing right, right now, because... Crap! Oh, jeez, are you kidding me? Right at the my at the worst possible moment. No! 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 Block, block an attack, please. Thank you. Oh, no. It's just not enough. I was already at such low health. It just wasn't enough. I I was like, I was doing so well. And, and then I started, I finally started to crack. And he came along right at that moment. I was doing so well up until then, though. By the way, for any new people that join the stream, I'm using a special Doliac Spellbreaker build where um, I actually made the build for PvE, but I've been trying it in World v. World and I've had a lot of look at, or I've had a lot of luck with it. Um, it just basically focuses completely on toughness and vitality, and and uh, a lot of passive healing and all that and it works out pretty well actually I can show you guys the, the actual build if, if anybody wants to see it if you want to see it just say so in the chat Had some other in earlier encounters near these ruins. Had this situation where there was this soul beast. I I don't know what the deal was, but they either they just were not paying attention, or they didn't know how to use their heal skill, or whatever. But it was a really easy encounter. Okay, so far I haven't actually seen it. Oh, hold on. There's an invader 15,000 away. Over by the sentry. Okay. So, oh, and Red just took that. Well, maybe we'll find somebody then. Let's see. Uh, hold on, one. 
one second. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna find somebody. Here we go. Now what is, hold on a second. Is that more than one? Cause it doesn't appear to be more than one. It appears to be just a mirage. All right, here we go. Can I please just block? Good. Oh my gosh, shake it off. No. Full counter. Did I put a Mage Bane Tether on him? Oh, crap. How? Uh, I te I, I'm telling you. My weakness... Or my two weaknesses... Are... Mirages and Scourges. It's just, I, I cannot take them on. I seriously cannot take on Mirages or Scourges. It's impossible for me. Also, there's a tower that needs retaking on our side. There's also a supply camp I can get to over here, Stargrove. So we're going to go there. It's just it, this build is is really fun to play. It's just slow and in world versus world, I don't know exactly how viable it can be. Then again, most of the time like the guys that have killed me have been um, either they've caught me at already really low health or they've been mirages or scourges so also how did my crit chance make it up to 23.5% hold on if I, if I go over here if I switch away from that it was down to 14% interesting I think a hammer is probably best still. And technically we could we could do sundering mace. Oh, I'm doing armored attack right now. Why am I even doing that? Let's just reduce the recharge of my mace skills at least. So, Stargrove. Let's see if we can capture this guy. My fingers get so freaking cold. the supervisor. Here we go. No timer. Good. Order's objective upgrades. How ah, about the guard? Let's take on the warrior first. Alright. Let's block. There we go. I blocked nine attacks there. Your actions are foolish, my friend. Oh, and I've got an ally helping me. Look at that. How sweet. Isn't that sweet? That's so sweet.
All right, not bad. A core ranger. Is core ranger like viable in World v World? I've seen a lot of core rangers in World v World, but I never see core rangers in BBE. near Beastmaster. It'll give me a lot of world versus world experience. And it's not like I can't take him on because I can. I think Signet of Fury is probably a good skill to use here. Although, I'm still debating. Maybe I want to take Imminent Threat. I have used that a lot in PvE. Now, what my question is, is that if you use Imminent Threat on somebody that is not near you... Go ahead. Hit me. Oh. I, didn't, I, I was just... I'm really curious. If you use it on somebody that is not right up next to you... Will they actually run over to you and start attacking you? I want to try it one more time with this guy. The range is only 240. Okay, so that's the range. Also, sweet, I got one of the gold chests. Which means more testimonies of heroics. Okay, let me just try this. It, it, yeah, it, it looked like he actually did go over to you and start, uh, sorry, over to me and start attacking me. Not for any good reason. Go ahead. Slap on. Well, I, I wanted to slap on a mage main cutter, but. thinking about how imminent threat works well when you're just killing these guys, but shake it off probably would be just a really good one to use there. It's it's a stun break and and it removes conditions, which is important. Alright, this should not be an issue at all. This build has so much sustain, I have no doubt whatsoever that I can take this guy. Boom. Taunt, and I also get retaliation. Boom. Block. Reflects projectiles and everything, and you gain might, and when you gain the might, you heal. So, ton of sustain. 
Just practicing a little bit. That was quite easy. So, let's head over to the spirit home. It's protected from capture for another three and a half minutes. That could mean somebody else is there. I'm learning that my weaknesses are really just mirages and scourges. If I could just avoid those two classes, then I should be fine. But if I encounter a Mirage or a Scourge, I'm dead. That's <laughs> that's the whole deal right there. I'm just going to be dead. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. use my stun break. It doesn't really matter though because I'm just going to gain the extra toughness and health and if I'm already at full health <laughs> Guy man He's constantly at full health Nine pips They had an outnumbered map and second most war score. I do so little damage. I wonder if they will ever buff imminent threat. Like if they can maybe reduce the cooldown or something. That would be cool. Oh, here we go. Alright, here we go. Here's my chance. Oh no, no, this is not my chance. This is in fact the opposite of my chance. Because... I got double teamed, one of them's a Scourge. I can't even face a Scourge one on one. In fact, there's also a Reaper there. Screw that. That's not gonna happen. I mean, I'm kinda thinking of switching back to my damage build. At least I got some stuff with that. Itch so bad. Sorry, it's just one foot actually. Itch is so bad. That looks valuable. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, Jalice's pauldrons. Oh, vitality, healing, power, condition damage. No. But it does have the superior rune of the Doliac there. You can never have too much now, as for, and I got globs of dark matter as well. As for the other dwarven weapons, I think I'm just going to have to sell them. Or not sell them, salvage them. Superior Sigil of Severance. I think all of them. Yeah, all of them have that. I don't... Hold on. That's... What is this? Power, toughness, ferocity, healing power. Is that Marshall's? Is that Marshall's stats? That looks valuable. That looks valuable. I'm not going to get a single other glob of dark matter? Are you kidding me? But I did get three Ectos from it, so there's that. And the Superior Sigils of Severance, which I can then sell. Not, wow, they're not that much. Nine pips. Cool. Threshold achieved. Threshold achieved, huh? Let's see. It's kind of cool. Also, the rabbit tribal shield. Why am I keeping this? Why am I even keeping Rurik's helm? I don't really have a reason to keep either of those things. That looks valuable. And I got some globs of dark matter from it. I also got some globs of dark matter from the other one. So there you go. Keeping all these things at the bottom of my inventory. I need to stop that.
I just gained a spirit shard. I just wanted to see what that would do. Because I knew it would give me a spirit shard in PvE, but... Why is it that if I press... That's weird. My, my keyboard has these keys where the back of the key lights up when I press a key. That's so weird. Doesn't happen with controls. It happens with shift. Happens with caps lock. It happens with tab. Does it, happen with, it happens with tilde. That's really weird. I don't know why it does that. So, oh, I didn't do this either today. Glad I remember to do that. Oh, I want the medium bag of obsidian so bad. I also now have enough airship parts, so I'm actually going to exit World v. World for a second. Okay, I need the Itzel Mastery Vendor, which I believe you can find at Jaka Itzel Waypoint. And I haven't even gotten my flax for the day, so... I'm just going to rename the, the stream to Spellbreaker Hijinx. Shivered. Okay, where is the Itzel Mastery Vendor? Is it nighttime? Can I not do this? Okay, good. Wow, that's quality armor. Thank you so much. It's quality armor. Take a look. Thank you so much. Take a look. Okay, I need the gift of the Itzel. Here it is. It takes one gold. So now I'm going to go to Jaka Itzel Waypoint. Oh, it's a warrior with a great... That's a core warrior with a great sword. What? I did 
not expect that. Okay, I'm gonna deposit this gift of the Itzel here. Somehow, some way, I'm gonna have to get that new that last new hawk mastery. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. Alright, I've got the gift of the Itzel. Got gift of the Itzel, gift of the new hog, gift of the exalted, and gift of gliding to create the gift of insight. Now I, I do have gift of the desert. Which is basically the same as it's the equivalent of the gift of Maguma. May the stars guide you. Because I had gift of the pact and gift of the I, I don't know. There were, like, the maps. The map completion thing. More violets, I say. Less gift violets. of insights, a bloodstone shard, and 250 crystalline ingots to create the gift of Maguma Mastery. The gift of the desert is... Uh, you gotta do that, and then the gift of the rider, and bloodstone shards, and 250 funerary incenses to create the gift of desert mastery. Funerary incenses, you need amalgamated gemstones and whatnot. And the gift of the rider takes, like, a ton of trade contracts, I think. Hold well, on, let me see. I wanna see, actually. Gift of the Rider. Curious as to what the next legendary will be. Okay, for example, Gift of the Raptor. Cost a hundred... Oh, no. A hundred Elegy Mosaics. Gift of the Jackal requires a hundred. Spirit of the Skimmer requires probably a hundred as well. Yep, all of them require a hundred. Wow. So there you go. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling the stream right now. I think I'm probably going to end the stream right here. I think I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the night. I'm a little tired. I didn't sleep too well last night, so I'm probably going to go to bed. But I want to thank everyone that tuned in. Thank you all for watching. Please feel free to visit my Patreon if you would like to support me. Feel free to subscribe, and I will see you next time.